So, uh, interesting news coming through today. You're going, uh, you've signed up uh, to be on Dancing on Ice 2020. And uh, I think the most vital, concerning and uh, most apparent question that uh, people would want me to ask you, Kevin, at this point, and we can get on to how excited you are about it uh, to do it, is can you actually or have you ever ice skated? Uh, my ice skating uh, ability or my uh, uh, time on the ice is actually very limited, actually. I've, I've had a little bit of time with my two daughters ice skating. Uh, I've done, actually, I ice skated once at the bottom of the rock in New York, uh, the bottom of the Rockefeller building. So that's it as well. So my ice skating ability is extremely limited, and that's, that's all I can say. So I'm, I'm, I'm a total novice going into this and um, very, very inexperienced. So it's going to be a, a serious challenge for me here, yeah. Okay, that's really interesting to look forward to in terms of um, your learning curve should be pretty big for it. Have you any idea what price you are at Boyle Sports for this one? No, can, uh, I, I'd like to know what ball sports have got me. I, I've got to be the rank outsider for this one. It's, it, this this will all, almost be like Mon Mon winning the uh, the, the Grand National in 2009, something like that. 100 to 1 I'm looking at here, surely. <laughs> okay, you haven't hit travel figures, I can tell you that much. Uh, 33s at the moment. Kevin Coban, you are the second from bottom rag. Just Michael Barrymore is uh, at a bigger price than you at 40 to 1 top of the market. Tommy Fury, 5 to 2. 33 to 1, what do you reckon? 33 to 1, I think that's a fair price. Uh, myself and Michael Barrymore. I, I need to get the Irish vote. Come on, I think that's the one thing. I've got to start canvassing for votes here. I'm going to act like a politician over the next few months to try to get a little bit of popularity, I think, up here. And, and hopefully one or two people start to vote for me and keep me in the show. I think that's the way it's got to be. Yeah, well, we're certainly hoping that you can progress through the rounds. Uh, we've got a confirmation of uh, Tommy Fury, uh, Maura Higgins. They will be involved. And um, just an interesting question in terms of looking forward to the competition itself now maybe Tommy Fury with a bit of boxing background has uh, the requisite footwork uh, that might benefit him through the competition now Kevin don't get me wrong but I think you danced pretty well up and down the left wing for both uh, Ireland and as various top level English club teams surely you've got a, a predetermined advantage going into this I would I think that you, yeah, you could make that argument I suppose I've been known uh, for my time as well in, in coppers in town to, uh, to to frequent the dance floor, that's another thing I'd be. So I, w- I wouldn't be shy in getting out onto the dance floor for a bit of a dance. So yeah, I'd uh, I'd be fairly confident so I can I can move on that ice. So that's that's what I've got to get up to speed on with doing it in ice skates. It's a big problem for me now. And it's a big responsibility finally. Like my understanding of um, dancing on ice is uh, you're going to be the the foundation and base for your dance partner you've got the responsibility of carrying an, an, another human being in your arms on the ice which is very low friction of course and um, you must feel no pressure and be very excited yeah absolutely no pressure at all about carrying somebody through the air when i'm when i'm trying to ice skate myself no no pressure at all actually it's not something i've thought about so yeah that's uh no seriously i that's the one thing i'm breaking it about i've got somebody's body in my hands here that's the thing that i'm going to be extremely nervous about and I don't know. I think when the partners or when the partners are being dished out and to see who I'm going to get, I think they'll be bricking themselves when they see about my limited ability on the ice. We'll get uh, get them a scrum cap or something, maybe just to be safe. <laughs> um, and a neck brace. <laughs> yeah, oh God, uh, hopefully not. Um, Kevin, that's brilliant. We're looking forward to seeing your progress uh, throughout the season of um, uh, Dancing on Ice uh, this upcoming season. And it'll be on ITV and Virgin Media. That's it, yeah. ITV1 and Virgin Media1, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it, yeah. So both both sides of the water will be able to get it, so I'm looking forward to starting, starting training soon, and it'll all start and kick off in January, yeah.